suddenly the only way we could save humanity was by staying on paths. Companies shut down, schools closed, streets empty, and lives lost. The deadly virus has affected the lives of 1.6 million people across the globe. In Nigeria, coronavirus claimed the lives of over 1,000 people and 74,000 others infected. With the passing year of 2020, we remember fondly our loved ones who died as a result of COVID-19. The Chief of Staff to the President, Abba Kiari, who died of COVID-19 at 69 in April 17. General John Olubumi Irefin, the General Officer Commanding 6th Division's Patakas. Senator Adebayo Sikiru Oshinowo, APC Lagos East, reportedly died of coronavirus at the first cardiology consulting, same hospital where Abakiari died. Radio personality Daniel Leon Foster, known as Dan Foster, died of coronavirus complications. The Emeje Pass governor of Oyo State, Senator Abiola Adimobi, died in June 25th following complications arising from coronavirus. Aminu Adisa Logun, the Chief of Staff to the Governor Abdul Raham Abdul Razik of Paris State, in July 7, died of COVID-19 complications. Adegbenru Warhab died of COVID-19 complications. We also remember our loved ones lost to coronavirus. I have a friend, president in Nigeria, in the States, US precisely. He lost four people to COVID. Two of his very good friends. He told me his very good friends, which I, I used to know them, and two of his cousins. So it really affected him. Affected him. I, I, it affected him and it affected me because being your friend, being in that situation, what's more, there's nothing to smile about, laugh about, you know. With high hopes in view of the coming year, 2020 rather came as a surprise to all. The pandemic seemed like a joke and far-fetched till it began to spread across countries, claiming the lives of people and eventually found its way into Nigeria in February 27, 2020. The origin of coronavirus has not been properly stated due to controversies and different theories that came up. Most researchers think the virus originated in bats, but how it transferred to humans is still unknown. The novel coronavirus, which causes a respiratory disease, is believed to have started in a wet market in the city of Wuhan, located in the province of China. There was an exponential spread of the pandemic across the United States, the United Kingdom, Canada, and 174 other countries. The lockdown was put in place to reduce the spread of the deadly virus. This affected every area of our lives. There were no movements except for essential workers in the medical sector, the banking sector, the law enforcement agents, and food providers. It was crazy. It was a new experience for me. I would say it was easy at all. Um, you know, treating every patient that comes into the office as a potential COVID patient was really um, disturbing and scary. Um, I'm 
we had various challenges. There were some, some shortages of protective uh, equipment and stuff like that. I mean, it was, it was a great period for everybody. COVID-19. Hmm. It has really affected me a lot because I'm a kind of person I hang out with my friends. But now I can't. Imagine. I'm just stuck at home doing nothing. Everything turning around. You're all wondering. Do you see the life you're living? Nobody wants to get close to the other person because everybody's scared like I don't want to get infected. Even the worst part of it is when you sneeze in the bus or when you cough. Wow. Everybody is just worried and scared. So affected everyone, the way we live, the way we do things, our regular activities. Being that you have to work from home and most times everything you need to do, you have to go online. And then that was it. it became a problem. We all know about Nigeria online system. It was really difficult. It wasn't nice at all, to be sincere. I've never, in my eight years of um, experience, I've never witnessed anything like it before. I mean, um, we're just indoors, no gigs to perform. Your artists are just there. We're just dependent on the digital streams, which we know data don't come by easily in Nigeria like that. So. It was difficult for the average Nigerian to feed their families and cater for themselves. Like in the jungle, it was and perhaps still is the survival of the fetest. <laughs> In the educational sector, schools were shut down to further notice and school management adopted the online school system using virtual classes and online tools. This encouraged students to be more familiar with IT tools and the tech savvy. Social gatherings as well as religious centers were shut down. The use of online platforms replaced physical meetings. Social distancing measures were put in place no physical contacts with people, not even loved ones. Hygiene awareness heightened as it became compulsory to wear nose masks, use hand sanitizers and wash hands properly. Most organizations saw the efficiency of working from home and some companies still apply that policy to date. Organizations laid off staff as they could not keep up to staff payments while other companies blossomed. As the year comes to an end and in view of the second phase of the pandemic, we reflect on the lives lost to COVID-19. Coronavirus is no respecter of persons with hopes high that the vaccine will help stop and cure the virus. The use of face masks hand sanitizers, washing of hands regularly, and social distancing measures should be maintained. I am Kelechi Chikuma, and I'm saying, stay safe.